so much. Well, good afternoon to everybody. It's great to see so many faces here visiting us in the Capitol. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I am Congresswoman Jen Kagans, and I wanted to congratulate each and every one of you guys on being selected as winners in the Congressional District App Challenge that from the districts that you represent. So good job. I am honored uh, to be here as Virginia's second district representative. 2023 was my first year in Congress, which means it was also the first time I was able to pick, uh, pick a winner for my district for the Congressional App Challenge. Uh, I am not a app challenge, an a app creator, but I'm certainly an app user. So I think each and every one of us uses apps, gosh, so many times a day. I am just thankful that there are people like you guys out there who can put thought into what we need, what we're doing on our phones, on our tablets, uh, and what we can do to make our lives easier and, and better. So thank you for for just the the uh, the, the creativity that you all bring. Uh, I was so impressed by the the students that showed up to the second district and the displays that they showed us. Their hard work, their dedication, their passion that went into each submission was inspirational. It was inspirational not only for your peers, but for, for all the members of Congress. And I know you've heard from several of us today, so we are all impressed. The fact that more than 11,000 students participated in this year's challenge is just incredible. You know, as our world and economy continue to rely, rely on technology, it's important for you all to continue to pursue your passions and create future technology that will shape our world for generations to come. I wanted to take a moment to highlight the winners from my district. Today I have Ki Kwan and Cameron from Princess Anne High School in Virginia Beach, so special shout out to you guys. Congrats on developing their app, which is called Stellar. Out of 10 total submissions from my district, this app stood out, stood out as both practical and necessary in today's world. Their app was designed to help people learn the basics of personal finance, track their investments, and even develop a balanced budget. I think Congress should probably get that app and learn a few things from your app. We certainly could use some help with, uh, with budgets around here. But when I'm home speaking with recent graduates and those beginning their careers, uh, we hear a lot about people that are concerned about their finances, and we know that the cost of living has, has gotten higher, and people are having trouble just balancing their budgets. So I also, you know, I read that 88% of U.S. adults report that their high school didn't leave them fully prepared for how to handle money in the real world, and nearly 75% of people report that they experience stress from trying to handle their own finances. So, so we need to change those statistics, and it's people like Ki Kwan and Cameron who will help us do that with apps like Stellar. So special shout out and thank you. I'm super proud of, of both of you. I know that you all had equally impressive apps that you designed. The skills you have all acquired creating these apps will be useful in your future careers and come in handy when you're looking for a future job. I encourage you all to continue on the path you've set out on and hone your science, technology, and engineering, and math skills. These skills will prepare you for all the new and exciting opportunities of the 21st century has to offer. Again, congratulations to everyone here today on your accomplishments. I'm excited to watch as you all become the next generation of leaders and help America solve the problems of tomorrow. From apps that track people's exercise, the cost of goods, helping veterans access resources, and so much more, you showed us all that Americans, America will be in good hands in the future. Congratulations again to all of you. Keep up the great work and enjoy the rest of your time here visiting our nation's capital. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you.